Sara is a hot little Persian bitch. Me, my you know Sara. Right, good to see you again. She's got an MBA. She's got a most eighty band. I have an MBA in finance. Seven years of doing business development. Very cool. Thank have you. fun. We should do that again. We should. So, what's going on? Uh, it's so crazy. At 1.15, I got two special agents knocking at my door. I'm like, what the f is going on? And they served me with this. It's a subpoena. It's got to be about my ex. And what? it's just, I mean, my ex's life is really playing out in front of the world right now. There's been a lot of media attention surrounding my ex-boyfriend. Who the hell is your ex? My ex-boyfriend is Robert Kelly. R. Kelly? I met Robert back in 2013. How long were you guys together? For three years. Robert was very charming, so kind. Definitely not what I would have expected. Did you see anything that was described in the documentary? No. I had an adult relationship. I didn't see him with an underage person. It just was not, never even a thing. All you can do is speak the truth. The reason my experience was different is because of the boundaries that I set in the relationship. But in hindsight, every single small boundary, every single small decision that I had really altered the dynamic between him and I. As I pay attention to the trial and the different characters and, you know, and things, and I'm looking back at, you know, different um, people that were involved in Robert Sylvester Kelly's life. And what I see here, I see Sarah, and she is, she dated him for three years from 2013 to 2015 and um, if you know the backstory that we already know who was the problem um, AC and so basically you hear her saying listen I set my boundaries and when I was introduced to other women that's not my cup of tea and I left and she said he was kind to her. Um, it was an adult relationship. She never seen him around any, you know, underage. And so I'm, I'm looking at the people that's actually talking against Robert. I'm like, these are people with no life, um, with trying to leech off someone else, trying to seek fame through someone else, and the, and, and basically people, you know that's in a struggle but you don't see the people that's you know ha with self-made that's trying to go after him that's been around him you don't see people like that you know um as far as uh, the women's concern you know we already know about his um sneaky dirty um inner circle stealing from him and things like that but you know speaking on um his um lady friends the women that um, self-made you don't see them going after him it's only excuse me for saying this hood rats thoughts and um, lazy women